So I decided to uh, take the uh, cross feed off of the mini milling machine here. It, it was developing a little bit of a little bit of play this way, so uh, I thought I'd uh, take it apart, and grease it up. I know that it comes with uh, this. Uh, you see brown there. This packing material to prevent rust when it's on the the ship, so from the seawater. So I'm just going to grease them up, but um, and at the same time I found out how to how to take the play out of it. This uh, this piece here removes, and uh, it's like a wedge piece. It's a dovetail basically on each side, and this piece is your adjuster, and you have these uh, like Allen head with a hex head uh, nut. So you'd you'd undo the lock nut and uh, just twist them in slightly um, till it snugs it up and takes the slack out that you want. There's the feed screw there that moves it back and forth. I got it flipped upside down here for viewing. Don't know if I'll pull this one out or not. Probably not right at the moment. But uh, anyway, just uh, showing some of the mysteries of how the machine's built. I uh, <clears throat> I don't always take things apart. I've, I've kind of learned the hard way with like <clears throat> Briggs and Strat and 12 volt starters and car starters and different things that uh, just because you can take something apart doesn't mean you can always get it back together most of the time now I can um, back when I was younger like a teenager things didn't always go back together but now I figured out that you know you can use little like uh, 16th inch rivet shafts or uh, make special tools to, uh, to put things back together uh, you know don't take too long on it but I've had to do that uh, more than once. But anyway, so that's the. Uh, so basically, to remove this, you, you undo these uh, two pieces, two screws on the end. Uh, there's a little plastic piece on there. I don't know where it went. It must be buried. It must be underneath it or something. Anyway, it you just undo the bolts. You don't take them right out, and it slides out. That's how I clean the. Uh, hold on a second here. Oh, there, I finally found it. That's the other thing. I'm, I'm good at losing stuff, too. I seem to get better at it the older I get. Anyway, it was sitting over here upside down, and I was looking for white. If it doesn't match the description in my head, I'm not finding it. So, that that's on there like that. So, I, you just un, take the torque off the two screws, and it lifts straight up slots. And then, that's how I uh, clean out the, the uh, table. I use a... Uh, toothbrush just use a dead toothbrush and sweep it basically with the brush but anyway you take this off and then you just unscrew it all the way and eventually it undoes and you can lift it right off so that's how it comes apart so I've removed the two uh, shields that uh, were here and here and I screwed uh, the in and out feed all the way out. It won't come out any further unless you take these off. But I guess you'd have to remove this first to get those out of there. Mm, yeah. Anyway, it might be, maybe they're an Allen head, so you might be able to get sneak an Allen wrench in there. Anyway, I've uh, I'm not taking it apart any further. Just uh, just I just greased everything up there, cleaned it and greased it, and uh, I guess I'll have to do the same on this. Um, it's going to be a little bit of fun putting these uh, shields back in, but anyway, we'll uh, we'll get her done there, and uh, it, it does seem to be moving better now that I put more grease on the uh, threads there. I guess I'll have to, oh, 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 I'm going to break something here, holy jeez, you got to watch what you're doing. That looked like a Bennett. Got her just in time. I'll just roll her all the way forward there, and and uh, grease uh, the back part of the thread so and she should work better and I see that you would you would tighten um, this up using these two uh, adjusters on this side because I can see the wedge right there see the wedge in there on that side adjusting wedge so that would be how you would snug it up a bit if it's uh, if it's got play so 
that should help you to uh, grease up and adjust the uh, mini milling machine.